Biohacking Humanity's Future. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 245. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 245, December 3rd, 2017 edition. Today's topic, biohacking humanity's future. How cool does that sound? Biohacking humanity's future? What the heck is that? Well, it means that thinking about the system, the whole planet as an ecosystem, and all of the biological systems and how they work together and how humanity integrates in with that. How can we biohack or eco-hack humanity's future? What can we do to create a world that truly works for everybody, a sustainable civilization, a way to integrate and incorporate everybody in the idea of working towards a world that works for everybody and creating a sustainable civilization that benefits everyone and all life on this planet? How could we possibly do that? Well, one community has come up with our answer for that, and our answer is to create open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And that includes highest good energy, highest good food, highest good housing, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, highest good education, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting all these things together, especially that stewardship concept, the idea of taking care of our planet consciously and conscientiously, putting all these things together as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub that people can visit, experience, and if they like what they see, take everything that we've created as open source and do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, and resources, and replicate it. Biohacking humanity's future by enrolling anybody who wants to participate in the process. And everything that you see happening in the background of this video is our creation up to this point. Creating open source blueprints for seven different sustainable village models, a complete open source and free shared education model that covers all, all uh, learning levels, all age levels from pre-K all the way up to, well, we say till death. So all the way into adult life, but definitely through high school and advanced education and beyond that as well, inviting people to participate in what it is that we're creating and what that is, is biohacking humanity's future through eco communities and sustainable communities that don't have anything necessarily to do with a physical community, but creating models for building communities of people working together to create a better world for everyone. Biohacking humanity's future, participation and providing a way of living that we think, in the, in the case of a complete teacher demonstration hub like one community will be, biohacking community's future through creating and sharing a way of living that we think most people will consider to be way better than the way that they're living right now. Clean air, clean food, not grown with pesticides and poisons on it, better walk, clean water, open source education program that is kid-centric and very hands-on for parents, more time for people to do the things that they want to do and more things to do with that time, as well as open source and free shared economic models that cover for-profit and non-profit business creation, all open source and free share, creating a place where people can live and no longer need to work a traditional job because instead they will operate the eco community as a revenue source, as a place for people to visit and experience and the more fun they're having, the more fun we're having, the more fun you're having, if you're part of it as well, the more successful we'll be. The more we share what it is that we're creating, the more we enroll other people, consciously or unconsciously, in the process of biohacking humanity's future for the benefit of everybody. So this is what One Community is creating. We call it solution models that create additional solution creating models because the whole idea is that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate what you see, everything here happening in the background, as attractive enough, then the idea and the models and the open source blueprints will spread on their own, inviting more and more people into the global cooperative and collaborative of uh, eco communities and communities in general working for the highest good of all life on this planet, bringing more and more people into the fold to cooperate and collaborate, add to the open source blueprints, the tools, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions, everything that is that we're creating, or to just do it for themselves and by implementing sustainable building or implementing a highest good education program or an economic model, move the planet towards a more sustainable future. And again, for the benefit 
of everyone and everything living here, creating a sustainable civilization that simultaneously addresses all of the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come with a model that's open source and free shared and flexible enough and adaptable enough to be able to continue to adapt to address these challenges and the challenges that we haven't even seen yet, built on a sustainable foundation of highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing, highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship, putting it all together to create a way of living that is truly a new way of living, a better way of living. We think most people consider it to be a better way of living and is built on cooperation and collaboration, working together, biohacking humanity's future. This is what we're all about. So with that said, we are an all-volunteer organization. We are a non-profit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. And here is one week of our all-volunteer teams, uh, progress and accomplishments, working towards biohacking humanity's future through open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything you just saw in the background. And now let's check out the new stuff that we've been working on for this week. Here it is. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we updated the storage rack and added a border to the Scrabble game, designed a four-in-a-row game, a ping-pong table, and began designing the children's playground. You can see all of these shown here. And the core team continued working on the thermal leg page. This week, we redid the formatting and organization of the page, updated the menus and jump to links, and added about 30% more content to help with readability and clarity. We'd say the page is now 95% complete. Additionally, the core team continued working on the Earthbag Village materials and cost analysis page. We created more spreadsheets and added screenshots to the page to replace the existing tables. These images are now clickable and linked directly to the specific spreadsheet tab that they are referring to. And the core team continued working on the Murphy bed instructions, revising the nightstand assembly page to match the format of the other pages, as shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 30th week volunteering with our team. This week's focus was further developing the vermiculture toilet chamber designs, continuing to improve last week's designs for the emptying the chamber with pulleys and a winch. The latest progress is shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pond 3 renders. Here is update 92 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continued work on the stage areas and lights that will illuminate the stages. The core team also finished and added this video to the site that shares a progression of Dean's many steps necessary to create the lighting in real-to-life renders. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 64th week helping with the compressed earthblock village design and render details. This week's focus was beginning to 3D model in Revit the central play and recreation area, shown here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his ninth week working on the compressed earthblock village render additions. This week he finished adding people and other aesthetic elements to this final render of the waiting area. This image is now live on the site also. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed Earthblock Village external elements. What you see here is her 40th week of work focusing on further developing the images to share the specifics of Zone 13. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the City Center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is his ninth week of writing content. This week's content focus was continuing to add more details to the snow load section, as seen here. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his third week helping with the HVAC designs for the duplicate City Center. 
This week's focus, as shown here, was finishing the thermal mass calculations for the structure and researching how the indoor-outdoor pool will affect the environment. Aruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer, continued working on the city center's structural engineering. This week's focus was finishing review of the snow load data for the cupola and doing all the calculations for the domes, which you can see here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 59th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was three more rounds of updates to the lighting zones in AutoCAD. We'd say the zonal update process is now 98% complete. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, including checking the formulas and data for the food calculations, bringing it to approximately 50% completion, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. This week, we created the formatting and began entering the content for the collaborative team roles and training page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued working on the search engines for our website. This week we created version 1.0 of the highest good of all search engine. You can see some of this work in progress here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards biohacking humanity's future through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. If you would like to manage your updates in a, in a, through social media, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on LinkedIn and about Pinterest. We are on about 15 other social media networks, whichever one you like. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, whatever works best for you for following our progress. We'd love to have you join us. And of course, uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything it is that I talked about in this video and so much more, visit our website, visit our written blog. That is where all the information is being stored and we're developing it to offer it to you in whatever format you like best from PDFs to website content, video content. It's all being developed so that everything that we are creating can be replicated easily anywhere in the world. And uh, of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Most people don't make it to the end, so if you've watched the end, thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. It's the easiest way to support us is by sharing our information or visiting our Facebook pages and just liking all of our different posts there. That's actually really helpful. We truly appreciate that. Thank you for the donations. We are 100% unpaid staff, so every dollar of every donation goes to forwarding our open source goals, and we are very, very grateful for even a $5 donation. It really does make a difference because it helps cover our website expenses and everything else in running a global organization like this, but it doesn't go to anybody's paycheck. It goes to forwarding our mission. And so thanks if you're somebody that's donated. We truly appreciate that. And just thanks for the love and support. If you're just sending us good vibes, we're grateful for that as well. Thank you. In whatever way it is that you're supporting us, we are grateful. We do appreciate you. And until next week, we will. I promise. Keep on. Keep it on. Thank you.